see that portal before you, the one that you've seen so many times before, and I'd like for you to describe for me what this portal looks like. Black. Mm -hmm. Black. Tell me more. Look at all of the details. Like a triangle. Like a triangle. Very good. White light going through it. And white light coming through it. Very good. Now this white light, is it coming towards you? It's weaved through it. Weaved through it. Very good. So I'd like for you now to use your consciousness and float towards that portal. Allow yourself to drift and float through it. And tell me all of the things that you experience as you go through this triangle. What do you experience? It's like a cloud. Like a cloud. Very good. Tell me more. It's soft. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Are you on the cloud or in the cloud? In the cloud. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is this cloud moving or is it stationary? It's just there. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to allow yourself to go drifting through this cloud. Feel yourself moving through this cloud. And on the other side of the cloud, you'll be able to see more. So tell me what you experience along the way. The more you talk, the more I'll be able to help you. The cloud wants to go. Okay. Wants to go with you? Very good. So let's ride that cloud and see where that cloud begins to take you. Let's go drifting and floating through time and space and allow the cloud to take you. What do you see? A beach. A beach. Very good. Tell me about this beach. It's calm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What color is this water? It's blue. Mm -hmm. Blue there, water? Mm -hmm. There's no waves. No waves. That's very calm. Where are you seeing this beach from? What perspective? I think the cloud. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's important about this beach. Can you bring the cloud down lower? We're on the sand. Mm -hmm. We're on the sand. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's like nothing's ever been there. Mm-hmm. It's does, not touched. How does that feel? Isolated, but... Mm -hmm. Comfortable. And as you see yourself on this beach, what do you look like? Do you have a physical body? Yeah. I feel dark. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look, beginning at your feet. What do your feet look like? Manly. Mm -hmm. Tan. Tell me more.
look at your hands. What do they look like? They look big. Mm hmm. They look like working hands. They look like working hands. Very good. Are you wearing anything on this beach? No shoes. No shoes. I think I'm wearing pants. Mm hmm. What color are your pants? Cream. Mm hmm. Cream colored pants. What else about you? What do you look like? My hair is shaved. Mm -hmm. Your hair is shaved. In what way? I'm not bald, but mm -hmm. it's cut very short. Very good. What color is your hair? Can you tell? Black. Black. Mm -hmm. What do your features look like? I have big lips. Big lips. Mm -hmm. Strong face. Strong face. I feel very strong. Very strong. How old do you feel there? 25. 25. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about you and what you're doing on that beach. What brings you to that beach today? Fishing. Fishing. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you fish with? I have a boat. Mm -hmm. And, and I have a pole. You have a boat and a pole. It's wooden. Mm -hmm. A wooden pole. Tell me more about you. I feel like a leader. A leader? Mm hmm. So let's find out a little bit about who you lead. I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to a scene where you are, where you live. Be there now. Where is it that you live? I'm around the fire. Around the fire? There's huts. Mm -hmm. How many huts do you see? Many. Many. Mm -hmm. Are there any people around you? Yes. What do they look like? They look like tribal. Tribal people. Mm -hmm. What are they wearing? It looks like grass. Mm -hmm. Like fronds. Mm -hmm. So what's happening today around this fire? What's the occasion? We're sitting. Singing. Sitting. Oh, sitting there. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We like to be together. Mm -hmm. As a community. Mm -hmm. So the whole community is around this fire? Most of us. Mm -hmm. And what is your role in this community? I'm listening. You're listening, okay. Tell me what's going on as you're listening. An elder is speaking. An elder is speaking. about community. Connection. Connection. The importance of being together. The importance of being together. Mm -hmm.
What else? I see an older woman. Mm -hmm. Who is this older woman? My mom. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this woman's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Do you recognize the soul? My aunt. Mm -hmm. She wants me to be strong. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happened. What happens next? She's holding me. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? I feel 12. 12. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it feels to be held by her. I feel protected. Mm -hmm. I feel protected. Not alone. Not alone. What else is important about this scene? Connecting with someone. Mm hmm. Do you but, feel? Mm hmm. She can really see me. She can really see you. Very good. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's open up that sa another scene in that same lifetime when something very important has happened. Be there now and you'll be able to speak loud and clear. I'm at my wedding. I'm at my wedding. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. It's on the beach. Mm -hmm. Only a few people are there. Who are these people? My mom. My uncle. Elders doing the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And where are your own parents? What happened to them? They're there. They're there too. Mm -hmm. I don't feel my dad. You don't feel your dad. Tell me why. I don't feel connected to him. Mm hmm. He's there, but I don't feel his support. Mm -hmm. So who is your bride? Take a look. How do you feel with her? It feels practical. Mm -hmm. Was she selected for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's one of the leader's daughters. Mm -hmm. So that assists you in in your community? My status. Mm -hmm. My movement. Does that raise your status in the community? Yes. Very good. How does that make you feel? Powerful. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you earn the status? No. I don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What's going through your heart and soul? Protecting my community. Mm -hmm. This is how I'll protect it. I'll lead it. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Is there anything else important from this scene? No. Very good. So let's close this scene and now let's move forward to another very important time in that lifetime. Something that impacted your life. Be there now. It feels like battle. Battle. Who are you battling? People have come to the island. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Explorers on big boats. They have big boats. Mm -hmm. We fight them. What happens? We kill them. They kill us. They killed a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Are you still alive? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how does that feel now that you know you had the responsibility of all these people? I feel like I did good. Good. Very good. So what happened with the men on the boats? They leave. They leave. Very good. Is there anything else important about this scene? My wife is gone. Did they take her? They killed her. They killed her. Tell me what's happening in your heart. I feel her loss, but... I'm connected to my community. Very good. So let's fast forward and see what happens after this battle. How does that change your life? We're careful. We prepare for war. Mm -hmm. But we are peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else important from this scene? The moon is there. The moon is there? It's a full moon. A full moon. What does that full moon represent? Acceptance. Acceptance. We can't stop these people. From coming. But we will be safe. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you cannot stop them from coming, but you will be safe. It feels like they'll take us mm -hmm. on their boats. So let's find out what happens. It feels like slaves. Mm -hmm. They keep us on below. Just the men. Just the men. What happened to the women? Some are still on the island. Mm -hmm. Some are on the boat. They are not chained. They are not chained. Mm -hmm. No. But the men are. Our feet. Mm -hmm. We're all connected. We're scared. Mm -hmm. Tell me more what happens now. The boat doesn't feel like it's safe. Like it's going to sink mm -hmm. before 
before we make it to the destination. Tell me what happens. We finally arrive. Mm -hmm. We're sick. Sold with my brother. You're sold with your brother? Mm hmm. Who buys you? We work in a field. Mm hmm. A farmer. I see corn. Corn? I feel like a handyman. Mm -hmm. Do you work inside the house also? Yes. Mm -hmm. I fix things. Mm -hmm. What is it that you fix in this place? Doors. Doors. The sink. Mm -hmm. I make things. What do you make them out of? Wood. Mm -hmm. What do they call you? Toby. Toby. Is that your real name? No. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be called Toby when you have a different name? Disheartening. Mm -hmm. What is your real name? Goliath. Goliath. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? There's a girl in the house. Mm -hmm. Who is this girl? She's not asleep. Mm -hmm. I like her. Mm -hmm. Is she the same color as you? No. Is she the family of the owner? Yes. Mm -hmm. She wears a pink dress. Mm -hmm. I like her. She's nice to me. What happens next, Toby? She protects me from being sold again. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else get sold? I don't feel my brother anymore. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward and find out what happens in your life. What's the next significant event in that lifetime? Just be there now. I leave the farm with her. How were you able to do that? We left at night. Mm -hmm. On a horse and carriage. She knows people. Where do you go with her? A house in the woods. Mm -hmm. Who does this house in the wood belong to? It's abandoned. It's abandoned. What happens next? 
We have kids. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. We're safe in the house. What about outside the house? We don't go far. Mm -hmm. How do you feed yourself, Toby? We go grow food. Mm -hmm. We hunt. So tell me what happens now. I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Sarah's sick. Mm-hmm. She won't get out of bed. She died. What happens when she dies? I care for my daughter. How old is your daughter now? Three. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene now. And let's go to a time when you're much older, when something important is happening. Be there now. How old are you, Toby? 73. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm ready. I'd like for you now to take that last breath in that lifetime and transition out of that body. And as you leave that body, I'd like for you to look back at that life. Every life has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Learning acceptance. Mm -hmm. Making... Taking value in what you're given. Mm -hmm. What was the lesson that you learned? I don't have to be with my people to feel connected. Mm -hmm. I can love those who hurt me. Mm -hmm. And they can love me. Mm -hmm. So as you transition out of your body, I'd like for you to now, Toby, look at the lifetime of Bailey. And tell me, what is it that she is receiving from you in this lifetime? What is she feeling from yours? My sorrow. Mm -hmm. My loss. What else does she feel? Strength. Mm -hmm. To overcome. Now, she says she feels lonely a lot. Is this your loneliness? She feels from you? No. Okay. What does she feel? Just the sorrow of losing? Sadness. The sadness. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you like to give Bailey in this lifetime that she's living? Show others your sorrow. Mm -hmm. And let them feel it with you. Don't carry it alone? No. Their strength and community. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else that you would like to give to Bailey at this time? I give her my strength. Mm -hmm. The strength of a leader? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The strength of outcome. She can get what she wants. Very good. Thank you very much. And now let's close that scene and let's go drifting and floating. I'd like for you to fl- find that cloud again. Allow yourself to drift back onto that cloud that goes with you. Drifting and floating through time and space. Allow that portal to take you to a new place now, a new time. And be there now. I'm in space. Mm -hmm. I'm in space. Tell me what you see in space. I see the stars. Mm -hmm. In darkness. Mm -hmm. As you float through the stars, do you feel that you have a physical body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what your body is and how you're going through time and space. It feels like a rock. Mm -hmm. You feel like a rock? Describe yourself for me. I'm gray. Mm -hmm. A gray rock? And jagged. Mm -hmm. And I have divots everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm large. Like an oval. Mm-hmm. Like an oval rock. I just float. Mm-hmm. So let's find out where it is that you're floating to. What do you see? A planet. Mm-hmm. It looks like mechanical. A mechanical planet? Tell me more. It's silver. What else do you see on this planet? What do you experience as you get closer to it? Like I'm gaining knowledge. Mm-hmm. What are you gaining knowledge about? Existence. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. what it is to think. Mm -hmm. There's beings on the planet. Mm -hmm. Are you receiving this information from the beings or from the planet itself? The planet. Mm -hmm. It's technology. Mm -hmm. Like they made it. Mm It sends out a signal. It sends out a signal? It called to me. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of calling? It wants me to learn. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to be on this planet? Yes. Okay, so let's see what happens to you physically. I turn into a being. You turn into a being. All right, so let's find out what this being looks like that you turn into. I look indigo. Indigo. Describe yourself to me. My legs are long and skinny. Mm -hmm. Like toothpicks. I have four fingers. Mm Mm-hmm. They're like suction. Mm-hmm. They have suctions on it. To connect to the planet. Mm-hmm. My arms 
arms are long. I feel tall. What does your face look like? I have a big head. Mm -hmm. How big is this head? Bigger than my body. Mm -hmm. What shape is your head in? It's square. Mm -hmm. Do you have eyes or nose or mouth? I don't have eyes. Mm -hmm. I have two antennas that come out of my head. Two antennas? Mm -hmm. They send the beams. That's how we communicate. Mm -hmm. So do you connect telepathically through these antennas? Yes. Okay. So, these other beings that are on this planet, do they look the same as you? No, we're all different. We come here. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this place is. Why are you there today? To learn love. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you go to learn this love. Do you just have to be on this planet or do you go to a reunion? I connect to an outlet. Mm -hmm. And it gives me information. Mm -hmm. It puts it into my body. So do you download this information from this outlet? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about this learning today. I want to learn what existence is. You want to learn what exists? What existence? What existence is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How it is. Mm -hmm. But it just is. There's no description, is there? No. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's expanding. Tell me what's expanding. Existence. Mm -hmm. Through my knowledge of existence. So your knowledge of existence allows existence to expand even further? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. That I have created. Tell me more. Existence feels like love. Existence feels like love. Where does existence reside? In me. Mm -hmm. Deep in me. It wants me to go within myself. Mm -hmm. To find it. So let's allow yourself now to go within. And let's find out what happens. Go within yourself. It fills my body with love. Mm -hmm. It shows me the universe. What does the universe look like? Is that also within you? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a big circle. Big circle. It's all within the circle. Mm -hmm. What does this circle consist of? Light. Mm -hmm. Any particular color? It's 
called it. Mm-hmm. It wants the light to go mm-hmm. through. Let's go ahead and allow that light to go through. And tell me what happens. It fills my body. Mm-hmm. What does this light do to your body? I feel transcendent. Mm-hmm. So now that you are this light, are you now part of existence? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Creative. Mm -hmm. I feel creative, like I create Mm -hmm. everything, everyone. How does that feel to be a creator? I feel the power. Mm -hmm. And the love in creating. Mm -hmm. I feel myself in what I create. So what are you creating now? I'm creating life. Mm -hmm. I want her to feel strength, so she lives without strength. Mm -hmm. I'm the girl. Mm -hmm. So what do you look like? Mm-hmm. Bailey is the girl. Mm-hmm. Very good. So may I speak to the part of Bailey, her higher self, that has all of the answers? Yes. Thank you. What is the purpose of Bailey creating this life? She wants strength. She wants strength. Mm -hmm. She wants power. So did she choose wisely the right time and the place and family for this strength and power? Yeah. Bailey came here to guide her mom. Mm. Her mom will be What else does Bailey need to know about relationships? All of those in her life. Communication. two ways. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's one way for her. Mm-hmm. She feels no one sees her. Is this the sense of loneliness? Yes. Mm-hmm. Where is that coming from? Rejection. Mm-hmm. I know. Her parents. Mm-hmm. Was this on purpose? Yes. Mm-hmm. So since she created Bailey, did she create this rejection for a purpose? She needs the loneliness. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? So she can 
feel the connection. Mm. The loneliness will guide her. She's meant to feel it. Mm -hmm. She'll help others with it. So by experiencing this loneliness, Will she be able to be more empathetic yes. towards others? Okay. She's empathetic. Mm -hmm. Will this loneliness ever end for her? Will she grow out of this? No. No. So it's something that she just has to learn to live with? To call a friend? In a way? She needs the vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Because she's too caught up in physicality. Ah. Well, she says she holds a lot of fear about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why has she chosen this lifetime to experience so much fear about her physicality, about how people receive her? To allow herself To be put in the viewpoint of others. Mm -hmm. Is this all for growth or experience? It's for enlightenment. Mm. Is that her path, enlightenment? She's too enlightened. Ah. She wants to. She'll help others. She'll help others. Very good. She'll put a spark in them. Mm -hmm. Now she told me that she has a strong connection with angels. Yes. What is the purpose of her connecting? Does she have an angel connection? She's an angel. She is an angel. Now you showed her the life of this man who was a slave. Yes. Was that an actual lifetime? No. It was a metaphor. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, do, what was the explanation of showing her that life? You can be taken out of your situation of love mm -hmm. and still find love. Okay. Because love is everywhere. And connections can be made through those. Who put you down? Mm -hmm. Who take you? Yes. So I'd like for you now to show Bailey how she chose to be an angel in this lifetime. I'm going to have you in silence show her that and then we'll discuss it. Is that okay? Yes. Very good. I'll be right back. All right, so now that you've shown her the information about being an angel now, she has a clearer picture. Would you describe to me 
what was shown to her? Michael. Mm -hmm. He's with her. He's with her. Tell me about that connection. He guides her. Mm -hmm. He wants her. To feel this happiness he feels. Mm -hmm. So how does Michael guide her? What is he guiding her towards? He holds her hand. Mm -hmm. And he walks her to the light. Mm -hmm. When she feels alone. Mm -hmm. Cause she's not alone. So even though she's going to be feeling loneliness throughout her whole life, he's with her. He's always with her. He holds her. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice feeling, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this lifetime, you've told her that she's here for strength and power. Yes. Mm -hmm. That Michael walks with her. Yes. And that she chooses this fear for a good reason, to be able to connect with other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that she understands that, how can she progress her spirituality even more? Now that she understands that she's here as an angel. Feel the fear. Mm -hmm. Get lost. Mm -hmm. Did she choose? this fear for a reason? Did she choose to experience this fear? Yes. Mm -hmm. But the fear will go away. Okay. So it's something that she has to face. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of life to commit. Mm -hmm. Is this because she hasn't had the experience before? Yes. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to be here. Mm -hmm. So why is she here? We saw how she created this being, Bailey. She will help with expansion. Mm -hmm. And guide others in expansion. Okay. We need her here. Explain to me what's going to happen when there's this expansion. destruction. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what kind of destruction we're talking about? Our society will fall. Mm -hmm. There will there'll be no government. No government? No. Mm -hmm. We'll live in a land of peace. Mm -hmm. And through before peace, there'll be disaster. Mm -hmm. What kind of disaster do you foresee? They see death. Mm -hmm. She'll be with those people. Mm -hmm. That's her purpose. Will she be with those people in physical form? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she'll help. She'll hold them while they're dying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this where this strength is necessary? Yes. Mm -hmm. What can you say to her now to relieve any fears that she has about this? It's for creation. Mm -hmm. Will she be helping create a new yes. world? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she'll stay on this earth. She will? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that her purpose? Yes. She needs to help other people. Mm -hmm. In what capacity will she be helping them? She'll guide them to the new earth. She will? Yes. Mm -hmm. She'll keep their physical bodies safe. She'll keep their physical bodies safe. Yeah. Will she have some sort of extra powers that others don't have? She can leave her body. She can leave her body. Well, she tells me that she feels she's as if she's always... She's not in her body. She's not in her body. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
that happen in a human body where you're not quite inside of your body? She's her higher self. She is her higher yes. self at all times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She watches. She watches her life. Mm -hmm. So how has that helped her? The ego. Mm -hmm. The ego. She watches her ego? Yes. Mm -hmm. It runs free. Mm -hmm. It runs free. It's been there and free. So, as her sire self, kind of floating above her body, watching herself in this crazy life of Bailey, where she's afraid and her ego is always telling her she's not good enough, how does the higher self look at all of this silliness? I see she is good enough. Mm hmm I see the strength in her weakness. Mm hmm In her imperfection. Mm hmm In her decisions. Mm -hmm. Her interactions. Mm hmm She's too caught up in the physical. Mm hmm So how can she Stop getting caught up in the physical and more, be more spiritual. Release the ego. Release the ego. How can one release the ego, please? She needs to meditate more. more. Meditate more. How often should she be meditating? Every day. In the morning and at night. Okay. And in the afternoon. Whenever she gets the chance. Whenever she gets a chance. She should write. Mm -hmm. While she so while she's meditating, will she be doing automatic writing? Yes. Okay. And who will be communicating with her? Michael. Michael. Very good. Very good. She also told me that she was having panic attacks yes. when she was in the 8th and ninth grade. What was causing all these panic attacks? What was it all about? She needed to find who she is. Mm. She was not committed enough. Okay. It was death mm. or life. Mm -hmm. So was she having to choose? Yes, mm -hmm. she chose life. Was they panicking her? Yes, she was afraid. Mm -hmm. To live? Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people are afraid to die, but she was afraid of living. She's not afraid of death. Mm -hmm. So does she understand the purpose now? Why she went through that? Mm -hmm. Good. She also tells me that she saw a woman yes. that came to her. And that saw, was me. That was the higher self? Yes. I wanted her to know. So the, Her purpose. Her purpose. Did you tell her? No, I was going to. Mm -hmm. What happened? She was too afraid. Mm -hmm. But she says that kind of looked like her mother. Yes, she is her mother. Mm -hmm. That's why. Now, she would like to be able to progress her intuition and sight. She is intuitive. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to. She doesn't need to? No. So whatever she has, whatever superpower she came with, that's good enough for her? It will grow stronger, but she doesn't need to work on it. She needs to just be. Yes, be with it. Okay, good. Meditate. Meditate. And it will come. Will that help her overcome all this self-doubt that she has? No. Okay. She needs to find someone. There's a person. Mm hmm. Who is this person she has to find? She has a contract. Mm hmm. They will free her. Mm hmm. Is this a male or female? It's a male. A male. Then she will love him. Okay, so once she finds her beloved, yes. it will allow her to overcome the self doubt? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, is this beloved that she's going to find in the future? Is it's he? Now. Is now? She knows. Him. Okay. And is he also part of the angelic realm, or is he part of the no. human life? He's human. Okay. Will he ground her? Yes. Okay. Very good. He's scared. 
He scares her. She doesn't know. He's uncertain. Mm-hmm. But it's meant to happen. Good. So who's guiding her in her relationship with this other person? Azriel. Azriel? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. What connection does she have with Azriel? She loves him. Mm-hmm. He guides her. Mm-hmm. He's always with her. Very good. Does he have a message for her? Be vulnerable in your relationships. Be vulnerable in your relationships? Vulnerable is openness. Mm-hmm. Let someone else see you. Don't hold yourself down. Don't be afraid to speak and release what you feel. Good. Very good. Now she asked about her her aunt. Joyce. Mm Mm-hmm. What role does she play? She loves her. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you know? Do they know each other as souls? Yes. Mm-hmm. She's an angel. She's also an angel. Yes. Mm-hmm. So did they come with a contract to do something in this family? Open. The lightness. The lightness. Yes, mm-hmm. vulnerable. Mm-hmm. To open up the feelings of the family. Mm-hmm. Give them the strength to feel together and mm-hmm. be together. Well, Bailey has quite a bit of uneasiness with sharing emotions. Yes. Where does that come from? Her father. Mm-hmm. How can she heal that? Does she need that in this lifetime? No. Can we begin today by... I'll remove it. Very good. Let's remove that from her DNA. It's gone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I put strength in its place. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, right now in her life, she's studying. And she wants to get some direction about what kind of career she should follow. A writer. A writer. She will write books. She will. She will. We illustrate. Mm-hmm. Illustrate also? Abstractly. Abstractly? Mm-hmm. There's a meaning in her actions. Her actions are about metaphors. Mm-hmm. Now, you told her before that she should be writing while she's meditating. Yes. Are these books going to be come, yes. coming out of this? Yes. Very good. So, it should be easy. It will be easy. Mm-hmm. Does she start now? She already started. Okay, good. So, did she choose to have that skill when she came in, the writing skill? She's always had it. Okay. She's articulate. Mm-hmm. And that will help her. Yes, she will exp- express the angels in her words. Good. Good. Is there anything else that she could be doing for fun and money besides writing that could help people? She'll paint. She'll paint. She'll draw. Mm-hmm. She should pick them. Picnic? Yes. Uh Uh-huh. Needs to be outside? Be in the sun. Be in the sun. Does she spend enough time in the sun now? No. No. More time outside. Okay. It makes her... It grounds her. Mm Mm-hmm. Any particular area we're talking about? 
parks, beaches, the park, swamp. The parks. <laughs> okay, the parks. Good. The mountains. The mountains. Well, she, she should be in the mountains. So she needs to travel quite a bit. She should be in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Will she remain where she's living now? No. No. It's a good place for her to move to. Colorado. Colorado. She'll go back. Okay, good. She'll live with her mom. Mm -hmm. And they will practice together. Okay. Good. Is there anyone who's guiding her with that? Or is, I, is uh, Michael guiding her with all of this? Raphael. Raphael. Will he help her with healing? He will help her with her career. With her career. Very good. Anything else about her career? She needs to not worry. Mm, not worry about it. It will come. Okay. It will come soon. Very good. But she needs a school. All right. For writing. So complete the school and then things will take off. While she's in the school, things will take off. Okay, good. You now she talks about her health, some health issues that she has. Would you do a scan on her body and let's find out what's causing these issues in her neck and her jaw and her, her skin? solar plexus. Her solar plexus. What's going on with that? It's blocked. Mm -hmm. Let's find out the origin of that. That's why she. Mm hmm. Feels uneasy. Mm hmm. Can we find the origin of that blockage, please? Her relationship. Her relationships. Does she need to keep this blocked no. any longer? No. All right, so can we begin now, releasing all of that blockage? I will open it, but she needs to work with it. Okay. And understand why it was blocked. Mm -hmm. So give her the information so that she understands. Her childhood. Her childhood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Betrayal. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, was this a true betrayal, or was it an interpretation that she gave it to be betrayal? Because true betrayal. True betrayal. Of trust. Okay. Can we release this and let it go? Yes. All right. Would you allow me to help her release this energy? Yes. All right. So, I'm going to put my hand on Bailey's chest right above the rock, and I want you to go through your entire body. And let's pull out any remnants of this betrayal, of this breach of trust, a feeling that you were taken advantage of, that you couldn't trust this person. Feel it coming out of your body. Let's pull it out of every cell of your body. We don't need that blocking that solar plexus anymore. Feel it unraveling and pulling out. And tell me when I have it all. Very good. So I'm going to take it and send it to the universe. Now, what would we like to put in there instead? Let's fill that space with something. Understanding. All right. So let's feel that understanding going in as it fills every cell of your body, going back in, knowing. Mm -hmm. so let's seal that in and let's put acceptance in there. Feel it going through your body. And seal that in. What else would you like to put in there? Compassion. Mm -hmm. Can't leave that out. Let's put compassion in there. Feeling for others because we all make mistakes. And compassion is all about understanding that we don't know. We didn't come here with a manual. So That's what she must understand. Mm -hmm. That's right. So allow that to flow through your body, understanding that nobody comes here with a manual. And sometimes we hurt others' feelings without knowing any better. So allow that to take effect and release that solar plexus. How does that feel? Good. So I'd like for you to continue with the scan and tell me what else we need to work on today. What else is blocked? Her neck. Her neck. What's going on in her neck? 
Someone's there. Somebody's there? Mm-hmm. Her grandma. Her grandma. All right. So, would you allow me and give me permission to connect with her grandma today? Yes. Thank you very much. So I'm going to now use my hands to bring that energy forward and allow me to bring it forward. Good evening. Can you tell me who I'm speaking with? Margaret. Margaret. Good evening, Margaret. Can you tell me why you are there attached to your granddaughter? I don't want to leave her. You didn't want to leave her. Tell me what you feel when you think about leaving your granddaughter. Unhappy. Mm-hmm. Grumpy. Grumpy. She makes me happy. Mm-hmm. I understand she makes you happy because she is an angel, isn't she? Yes. And this angel needs to be taken care of. But you see, Margaret, connecting with her neck is just being a pain in the neck. Is that how you want to be thought of? No. No. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to help her from the spiritual realm where you have the actual power to be able to guide her and help her? Yeah. Yeah. Being there stuck as a parasite doesn't do much, Margaret. Would you allow me to help you? Yes. All right. So, Margaret? I'll take her for you. Mm-hmm. I'd like to ask Archangel Michael now. Take Margaret by the hand and allow her now to release. And Margaret, what would you like to tell your granddaughter as you are leaving there? I don't mean to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Bailey, what would you like to tell your grandmother? So Margaret, and she wasn't there when you needed. She needed no. you needed her. No. Does that matter now? No. No. So what would you like to tell Bailey about that? Does she need to hold that guilt any longer? No. All right. So go ahead, Margaret, and begin removing that guilt from her, taking it with it. Now, Margaret, I'd like for you to look within, and find that spark of light that you have, and let's begin expanding that light. Filling your entire essence with that light from the divine. Feel that love of God filling every bit of your body. And tell me how that feels. Like release. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you, Margaret, to get even bigger. Feel yourself getting bigger and bigger with that light. Expanding it and feeling the love. Very good. So Margaret, before you leave... Now that you're full of light, would you go ahead and begin sending that beautiful love and light into her neck to heal her? And tell me when you're done. It's done. Thank you very much. So Archangel Michael, please take Margaret by the hand and take her straight up back home. And Margaret, tell me who's there waiting for you. The free track. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Margaret, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for the higher self and the angels to go ahead and begin filling her neck with that light to seal her, to heal her, And tell me when you're done. I'm done. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the rest of her body and see what we need to address next. Her personal power. Mm-hmm. What's happening with her personal power? It's dim. Mm-hmm. Where is this personal power located? In her stomach. All right. So what's going on with her stomach? It says it's very sensitive. 
Why has she dimmed? She chooses things that are not good for her. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To feel comfortable, but it doesn't make her comfortable. Mm -hmm. So this comfort food is not very good for her. Is that it? It's not food. Mm -hmm. What is it? Her food? actions. Her actions, okay. How she fills her voids. Okay. Instead of expressing them. So she buries them into her stomach? Yes. Okay. So what would you like to tell her about that? If it continues, it'll create an illness. Mm-hmm. So if you would allow me, I'd like for Bailey to make yourself very tiny and slip yourself into your mouth and down into your stomach area and I'd like for you to tell me once you get there what this looks like in your stomach. They're holes. Mm -hmm. They're holes. There are holes everywhere. And what created these holes? My loneliness. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to use to seal these holes today? Mm hmm We can to be with me. Very good. So allow her to be with you. We can use light. We can mm -hmm. use water. She puts green in them. Let's put green in them then. Green is our color. Very good. So go ahead and begin putting that green into your stomach. Both of you do it because you can't always use your mom. You need to be able to take care of your own body. So let's have that green coming from both directions and allow yourself to help your mom. They're sealed. Very good. Thank you very much. Bailey needs to not fill her worries. Mm-hmm. They do not make her happy. What makes Bailey happy? When she feels connected with someone. Mm-hmm. And when she can express herself with them. And they can express themselves mm -hmm. with her. But doesn't it start first from Bailey? Doesn't she need to be yes. the one to start? Yes. So can I have her angels to remind her of that? That she needs to make herself vulnerable. And once you make yourself vulnerable to others, that's the key to unlock their vulnerability and share. She has a lot to release. Mm -hmm. So allow her to begin releasing that. Tell me what else you're seeing there. Her toe. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her toe? It hurts. It's cracked. Mm -hmm. So what is the reason that her toe is cracked? Usually every balanced. part of the body. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. not balanced. She's not balanced. So what's keeping her from being balanced? She falls too much to the left. Mm-hmm. What's causing that? She's not authentic. No, not authentic. So we need to balance her wings a little bit more? Yes. All right. So let's, let's put some authenticity in the, the wing that's missing it. I'd like for you to see as it balances out, as you become more authentic. Feel the weight of that other one, your other wing that's weighing you down. Their wings are so big. Mm hmm They hold her here. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Can you begin working on her toe now to begin releasing? Yes. Thank you. I'll see you on the crack. Thank you very much. What else do you see in her body that needs attention today? Gaping heart. Mm-hmm. What happened to your heart? She feels deep. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what she came here to do? Yes. Mm-hmm. So how can we have her feeling deeply, but not tearing at her heart to where she tears it? Can we put some elasticity in that heart? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to see that elasticity going into your heart because you are going to need to expand that heart in order to help all of those people that need your assistance. But you don't have to tear at it. Allow it to be elastic. She'll be a warrior. She will be a warrior. Isn't she a warrior now? Yes. Mm -hmm. She so, always has. So the warriors need a very big elastic heart. What else do you see that needs to be worked on today? Nothing. She asked about her jaw. What's yeah. going on with her jaw? It's balanced. It's balanced? It's speaking. Mm hmm. So speaking in a positive way will put that jaw back into alignment? It will not be in alignment. <laughs> What's keeping it from being out of alignment? Or in alignment? It's too hard. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for the guides and angels to work on her at night? To release that tension in her jaw, yes. so that when she sleeps, she can release all of that tension. Do you see anything else in her body that we need to work on today? Thank you very much. I do have a question for you. Why did you bring Bailey here today, driving such a long distance? To meet you. Mm -hmm. And what would Bailey be getting out of this session? Guidance. Guidance, very good. Do you think that she has received the guidance that she needed to go forth as this warrior? Yes. Very good. So I'd like to ask you now about her mission in life, about the new earth. Yes. What is her role in the new earth and what do you see her doing? She will take people by the hand and lead them there. Mm-hmm. She will take them to the new earth? Yes. Mm-hmm. What is this new earth like? It is peace. Mm -hmm. It is community. We will live the land. We will live off the land. We will live off the land. Mm -hmm. We will live with the land. It is perfect. Beautiful. Will this happen in Bailey's lifetime? No. No. But she will help. Very good. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Bailey at this time? Any final message for her? You can see without your eyes. Mm hmm Anything else? Or are we complete? Very good. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> Welcome back. How do you feel? I feel like I'm vibrating. Oh, yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs>
That was pretty strong, huh? <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, I felt like tingling. Yeah. So what do you think about this session? It was what I needed to hear. That's what you needed to hear. Mm-hmm. You understand how things are now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a big role. I mean, you chose to be here. You could see how you created yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny because one night while I was meditating, I could see me mm-hmm. click picking this life. Yeah. And that's what you did. You I saw of... me picking it, mm-hmm. but not picking it, making it. Yeah, making this life. So what, it was, what did it feel like to connect with your higher self in this way? Did it validate <laughs> it's, things for you? Yes, it felt like a heightened sense of how I mm-hmm. already feel. Kind yeah, of. well, you already are your higher self at all times, but it's nice to be able to validate yeah. your Oof. words. <laughs> yes. So is this something that you want to share or you want to keep private? Yeah. We can definitely share it. Yeah. Um, so how do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? <laughs> I feel really energized. And- uh-huh. So tell everybody why you came and what you experienced. Um, well, from my feeling, like what I feel right now, I came to help the earth expand into this new new reality that we're going to experience. Uh-huh. And that we'll need to hold a lot of presence for other people. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I was getting shown. Yeah. We'll need to hold each other's hands. And it seems like you came here just for that mm-hmm. purpose. Just to hold people's hands. Yeah. Not that I'll be moving on with them. Yeah. That was your purpose. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? That makes me feel good. Yeah? It definitely makes me And you're me still good. vibrating. It's like oh, you're, yeah, still, I'm sh- you're still shaking. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, we're hearing a lot about the new earth and mm-hmm. about everybody's roles, and it seems like yours is a really, like, defined one. You came here as an angel. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you've ever lived in this place before? No. no. Not after that, no. no. And what's really interesting is that you're so young. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> She's a, how old are you? 19. <laughs> right. She's very young, so this is almost like... Uh, Dolores Cannon had talked about the new the volunteers mm-hmm. that you came here yes. just for this purpose. Yes, I definitely feel that mm-hmm. just for this. And does that make you feel empowered? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of puts me at ease a little bit. Yeah, because that's what you came here yeah. for. So, uh, what else did you feel from this session? Because yours was kind of unique in that you were really, felt, you were so connected to your higher I self. I felt so emotional. Yeah. In what, what I was saying, I just, mm-hmm. oh, I felt it so deeply. <laughs> uh-huh. So tell everybody how it felt. It, oh, how it felt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like God was speaking for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and it helped me to realize that we are all that little God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In that the universe, your universe is inside of you. Yes. Yeah. And it's definitely unique for each person. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was being shown. Mm-hmm. Were you being shown a lot more than what you said? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the things that you left out? I was that... a cloud. Yes. And in the cloud, though, from what I was, like, seeing was creation, was everything. Mm -hmm. And it was a deep cloud. It was immense. Mm -hmm. And it was dark, but it had light going in it. Mm -hmm. It was was definitely cool. For a minute, I was like, I'm the cloud. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, (laughs) the cloud's taking me somewhere. (laughs) And you also live this life as a slave man, which we, you knew that this was a metaphor. This was not your life. It was not my life. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. That was definitely interesting. What did you get from it? Well, the serenity of the beach, you know, safety. And yeah. then these people coming and taking that safety away. Mm-hmm. That's what I got from it. Yeah. <laughs> but finding finding that serenity, even though things are taken from you, right. you can still find it. Do you think that that's a metaphor for your life or yes. what's coming? Oh, I think or for everyone. For everybody. Like, even if you're being put in a situation that is uncomfortable, you can still find a little bit of light in it. Good, good. So or do you, through it. So do you recommend this experience to other oh, people? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely, yes. 
Wonderful. So if you would like an experience of your own, <laughs> you can cut, you can go to albawyman.com, my website, and you can uh, send me some information about you. And I am booked right now way into the future, but I do travel all around the world and I send out a newsletter every month telling you where I'm going to next. And if you sign up on my out of town page, you'll get that newsletter. There's links on that page and you can then sign up for a place near a city, a city near you. <laughs> so I hope I get to meet you and I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this session. It was really it was different, okay? <laughs> Another angel. So. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, and I hope I get to meet you soon. Bye. Well, I was so excited when you guys had contacted me about you.